Now let's discuss how to solve instantaneous velocity if we have an equation. Here in our example, a cheetah is crouched 20 meters to the east of a vehicle. At time t0, the cheetah begins to run due east towards an antelope that is 50 meters to the east of the vehicle. During the first two seconds of the chase, the cheetah's x-coordinate varies with time according to the equation. So we have here 20 plus 5 meters per second squared t squared. Now, if you are looking for the initial, again, the initial, initial distance, or what we have, the x, x0, it's actually this one, the 20. And normally, it is always written this way, x0 plus velocity time plus acceleration time squared. Now, it means our initial velocity, since this is time squared, our initial acceleration, initial acceleration, acceleration is 5 meters per second squared. But for our velocity, our initial velocity is 0. So again, this is the initial distance. The initial velocity is 0 because we don't have t here. And 5 meters per second squared is actually our initial acceleration. Now we have here questions. First, find the cheetah's displacement at t 1 second and t 2 seconds. Then, after that, find the average velocity during the interval. Now, to solve that, all you have to do is substitute. What you have to do is substitute this one to our time. Now, if you substitute that 25 times 1, we have 25 meters. Therefore, the distance at 1 second is 25 meters already as the cheetah moved forward to the antelope. The next one is time, 2 seconds. Now, all you have to do is, again, you just substitute it here, and then you will have this answer. Therefore, at time 2 seconds, the, the cheetah is already 40 meters from 0. Okay? Now, that means it didn't reach the antelope yet. The question letter B says, the average velocity during the interval is... Now, remember the formula of average velocity? The average velocity is x2 minus x1 divided by the 2 seconds for the x2 and the 1 second for the x1. And you will have the average velocity of 15 meters per second. So we have here the question number 3. Question number 3 with the change. The change in time of 0 0.1 second. Now, you can start with time 1 second. Then it has a change of 1.1 because we add the 0 0.1 here. That's the change in seconds. Now, the first one you compute for this time because we already know the answer for this one. So let's just compute at distance at time 1.1. So if you compute that, substitute, we will have 26.05. Now if you compute the velocity, the average velocity there is of course this one. And we've computed before this one. Over time, which is 1.1 and 1, we have this average velocity. Now what if you want to check change in time? not just for a 0 0.1 second, but you want a change in time with a 0 0.01. If you compute that, you will actually have almost the same answer. If you want to have 0 0.001, if you compute that, you will, you will also have almost the same answer. So we concluded that this is what we call the instantaneous velocity. Now, letter D, instantaneous velocity is actually defined in calculus as the limit 
us a limit of the change in x over the change in time as t approaches to zero or what we call the derivative now if you have this equation you can have the derivative of that equation and you will end up with this formula t is that t to this one substitute substitute the value of t that will give me 10 meters per second i can also use this one and i will still substitute i will still get 20 meters per second which is almost the same with the answer in letter c okay so i hope this is helpful thank you for listening